Hello, Steve West, Steve Arts 89. Well, um, this is a surprise and not something I thought was ever going to happen. Um, now, I saw this article a few days ago and I didn't take it all seriously. I thought it was a joke. And then I saw it a few more times on um, different sites and things. And I thought, oh, this is actually happening. Um, and I had a look at a couple of videos from Midnight's Edge and a few other people and I'm like, oh, wow, this is actually reported as happening. Um, basically, Michael Keaton is in talks with Warner Brothers to appear as Batman again. Um, 30 years after the original now, I just never thought this could happen in any respect. So I'm quite shocked and very happy because um, for me, there's only two Batman. Um, Adam West from the original 1966 series, which I saw in repeats as a kid and didn't actually know were repeats from the 60s when I saw them as a kid. Um, and I still love it today. And of course, um, the two Tim Burton films, the first two Batman films, um, Michael Keaton was Batman. He was great. Um, I loved them. Um, and then he was replaced by Val Kilmer and George Clooney. And um, I didn't think he'd ever come back. So I'm really surprised to see this development. Now, basically, um, he's in talks to appear in the new Flash film, which is going to star Ezra Miller. And um, it's, I don't know a lot about the story, but it's, it's based on uh, the crossover story Flashpoint, where um, Barry Allen goes back in time uh, to try and stop the death of his mother, and he somehow creates the universe where um, Michael Keaton's Tim Burton Batman is basically um, defending Gotham. Um, so I don't really understand how they create that universe, because that universe existed in the movies. Um, I mean, the multiverse exists already, doesn't it? I'm not quite sure how it all works, but I don't care as long as it brings him back. Because, um, he's my favourite Batman. Um, and I didn't exactly like the Christopher Nolan films. Um, I understood why they were popular and that they were good on one level, but I didn't really enjoy them or see them as Batman films. Um, so, and I recently watched the, um, Tim Burton ones recently for the 30th anniversary of the original film and I really did like them the most and I wish that they had stuck with that but um, unfortunately Joel Schumacher who just died he actually died on the same day that this was announced so um, because these films will not take into account at all his films they basically erase them or at least have them in a different universe and establish that they are different universes which um, is something that the comic books created as a way for them to explain discrepancies between stories and characters and eras and things like that. And um, Warner Brothers and Marvel, I think, established them on a TV level, but they want to establish them in the film universes as well because it gives them more leeway, more options. Um, I personally don't like the multiverse idea because I think it takes away from the, um, the, the, the established universes that exist. Like with the original Star Trek, um, that first era is amazing and then once you start breaking it up into the JJ films and the Discovery verse and it just takes away from what I really enjoyed as a kid of growing up with this consistent universe that aged along with me and things happened in real time it real it was really great and to lose that and then have it go backwards and forwards and um, to and fro between different characters and different universes and different time periods it, um, it does open up opportunities and make things more interesting in a way, but it also makes it all mean a lot, a bit less. I'm not quite sure. But um, uh, apparently he's in talks to, and this is mostly rumours as far as I can tell. Um, I looked at um, a few articles. I looked at the, a video from um, United Edge and a couple of other ones just to get a little bit of information. And it appears as though they are looking, um, AT&T is quite happy to bring back some 90s nostalgia. They see that as something that's quite marketable. And they're quite happy to bring back that Batman and that era and go back into that era of Batman and that um, Tim Burton, Michael Keaton verse. And I understand why those were the most successful films of the original films. Um, they, I think they're great. Um, and yeah, it would just be really interesting. Now, there is talk also of them doing a live action Batman Beyond, um, and a lot of other things are happening. And um, Michael Keaton is supposedly in talks to do, to be involved in one of the other films as well. Um, a lot of this is sort of 
you know, rumour, rumour. And it's hard to really tell what's happening or what could happen. But just the fact they're in talks with him and the fact that this is a possibility is amazing to me. And it shouldn't be amazing on one level because a lot of 90s stuff has come back in the last few years. Um, and it makes sense because Hollywood doesn't have any new ideas and they're scared, scared to try anything new. They just want to go back to things with track records. But then, unfortunately, the people they usually hire to work on them um, hate or resent or don't understand those franchises and those eras and then they just trash them anyway so they try and create these franchises for the established fan bases and fans and then they just insult them and no one really wins so if they can just avoid that um and apparently um jj Abram abrams is going to be in charge of the dc universe now and he kind of screwed up star trek but he may have learned from that and he may just avoid doing that with the dc universe or he may just plow through and do the exact same thing with dc that he did with star trek so it's really Difficult to tell how it's going to go, but um, I'm just really excited at the idea that um, Michael Keaton's Batman could be back. Um, even if it's not the main star, the main character of the film, um, just to see him again and just to have the extension and continuation of that universe rather than sort of that um, feeling we had when Val Kilmer came in and it was like a different Batman, but it was supposed to be the same Batman, but it wasn't. And you get all that sort of, I don't know, it just takes away from it. Um, like any other film or film series where or TV series where they replace an actor with someone else and you're just supposed to pretend like it didn't happen. Like I just found out that um, Aunt um, Viv was replaced on um, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I never realised she was. I didn't see the last couple of years of the show. I only saw a couple of years of the show because um, my local TV station didn't carry everything and sometimes they just put something on for a season or two and unless it was really successful they'd just move on to something else. Um, and it was a big drama about them replacing her, and not just replacing her, but changing the character and changing the show, and writing down. And it was um, cancelled, so I never even knew that had happened. So it's, I mean, I thought they'd stop trying things like that in the 60s when they did it with the two Darrens and stuff like that. Then they did it with the two Beckys and Roseanne. Um, so then they did it with Batman, and but now they're going to go back. And they did that with Roseanne, actually. They brought back the original Becky, um... And then they brought back in the new um, Roseanne series and then the, um, the Connors um, sequel, I guess it's a sequel series, um, they brought back the original actress and had her playing another character so they could have both actresses in the show while having the original Becky. So I shouldn't be that shocked that they're doing this, but I am, and I was, and I didn't think it was real. I thought, what? Well, that's a joke. It's like when they were saying that um, George... Um, Lucas was going to come back and fix Star Wars, and they were talking to him, and I thought, that's never going to happen. But it does look like he's been in talks, at least in some advisory way. So, I don't know, anything's possible. So, I want to get excited, but I'm scared what they could do. They could, they could ruin the character and make it worse. Um, it'd be great to see the actor back, but will we actually enjoy the character and the story? So, it's interesting. <coughs> But I'm going to go. Uh, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, what you know. If anyone has any rumours that they know about, feel free to let me know in the comments section. Um, yeah, I'm just shocked.